here's what I want you to do. P- please do this. Please do this. Especially if you've had a root of bitterness or you have a root of rejection, and it's like somebody in your life told you no, or, or something in your life has been no so many times. I, I want you to I, when you when you when you hear no, I want you to think next. When you hear no, I want you to think next. So if, if God didn't let me do that, next. If God didn't want me to do that, what's next? Now, now I have to do this as a matter of survival because sometimes people do not say they want to be a part of this ministry. But if I stop when they say no, I will miss the miracle that was in the thing. So, so I want somebody, whoever this is, I want you to shout at the top of your Holy Ghost lungs from your diaphragm. Say next, next. I gotta get through this crowd. I gotta get through this confusion. I gotta get through this shame. I gotta get out of this lack. I gotta eat. I can't die. I gotta find green grass. No means next. Woo. No means next. So I don't want anybody to leave me, but if they do, it's not like I'm just treating people as disposable, but they ain't bread. They ain't bread. I know where the bread is. Are y'all awake to help me celebrate the bread that came from heaven? The bread that came from heaven. The bread that came from heaven. What you going to eat? The bread that came from heaven is coming from the fire. It's coming from the hand of God. By every word that comes from the mouth of God. <laughs> Woo! If they said no, I'll just look for the next. Well, that's cruel, Pastor Stephen. I mean, I've, come on, man. I've been married almost 20 years. I'm not saying relationships are disposable. I'm just saying that you got to go back to the place where you know in God that Moses can only give you manna for so long. 